Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a fall clean with me. Um, I don't know about you guys, but when the seasons are changing, this is my time to declutter and organize all of the spaces in our home. So today I wanna tackle my kids' bedroom. I want to go through their drawers and organize and tidy up all the things in there. I also want to um, just go through their clothes so I can give some stuff away from do for donations. But first, before I start any of that, their bedding, I probably wash it once a month. Um, I just want to get that, and it's it's time to be washed. So I want to get that put into the washing machine so it can be washing by the time um, while I am organizing all of their other things. I would love to get to our bedroom, me and my husband's, to go through that closet to clean and organize it, but I don't know if I will have time on this day. So like I said, the first thing I'm gonna do is get a load of laundry switched over. Um, I'm sure you guys are just like me. I'm a mama of two. I live, live in Southern California and laundry is endless. We do laundry all day, every day. But so I'm gonna get that laundry in. I actually am gonna be filming an updated laundry routine so you guys can see how I attempt to get it all done. So we are gonna start in my three-year-old's room and I'm gonna start with her closet. I just wanna go through to make sure everything is something that she will be able to wear. It is still really hot um, in California and we had a horrible heat wave the past few weekends where it was over 100 degrees, which is a no bueno. But um, I'm just going through all of her stuff. If it's some summer items that I know that she will not be able to wear next year, I am going to get rid of those and donate those so another little girl can get some use out of them. So just going through her clothes quickly. I organize her clothes. Actually, every closet in our house is organized pretty much in rainbow order. And um, I just think that it looks aesthetically pleasing and it just works best for us. Um, as you can see, my kids do not have any shortage of clothing. Um, so yeah, closet I'm gonna go through first and then I will go through her shoes to get rid of any shoes that are, um, anything that is a size seven, she just moved up to a size eight, I'm just going to donate so that another little child can get some use out of them. If you can see, I changed my shirt. I thought this tie-dye shirt was much more comfy and cozy because I would be down on the floor and kind of all over the place. So the top of her closet, um, the baskets are each labeled. So she has boots in one, but she doesn't have very many boots because I gave them away at the end of last season. So I'm just going through, I'll go through those. Um, her sneakers, I was going through those to make sure that we only keep the ones that are a size eight. And then, I mean, yes, a size eight. And then some of these were just kind of um, really worn. So I will buy her replacement pairs of her favorites. So just going through those and giving stuff away for donation. has some in her top drawer um, she is just really into headbands so I am going to take these out to make sure that they are in good repair I'm also going to put the any Halloween or fall type headbands or neutral ones in the front of the basket and then put any holidays that I've passed those headbands towards the back of the basket because we have quite a few um, in here she has a few hats as you saw in a few purses so just organizing this bin and getting those headbands squared away tell me what your little one is into so she has a ton of bows but headbands are her jam and her things right now and she likes all unicorn headbands kitty headbands glitter headbands it's just her thing and I am all for it I just let her be herself and rock headbands as she sees fit. She got these sunglasses in March. We were supposed to go to Disney and stay um, at Disney for three or four days, three days I think. 
I can't remember. But that trip got canceled because of COVID and Disneyland still is not open. But um, those were glasses that she had for that trip, but she might as well wear them. I am just going through and showing you her drawers and we're gonna go through these and give away anything that is too small and just clean these out and make it look a little bit more tidy. So um, with underwear, I don't really donate those. I just give them away, like throw them out, toss them, but everything else I will donate. So her underwear, I just went through those really quickly and gave away any that were a size two to three. Um, I started buying size four, which are a little baggy on her, but we're just gonna keep it that size. And then in that top drawer, I didn't organize anything else. I just focused on the underwear today. And in the second drawer, I'm just going through and pulling out any pants that are a size three. I started buying size four stuff. Anything that kind of looks short and small, um, she can still wear a size three, but she's kind of, she has really long legs. So anything that looked really short, I'm going to donate and keep all of the things that were three and that looked long or that I had bought in a size four. You're gonna see that I got rid of almost half of these items so she has room to grow. And if you guys made it this far in the um, video, welcome, my name is Dream. Like I said earlier, I am a mama of two, a Southern California, mama of two. I love to make videos about clean, cleaning, organizing, tidying, all of that kind of stuff. Um, I also love home decor and making my home nice and cozy for our little family. I love seasonal decor and just um, anything about homemaking I'm all about, except for cooking. I am not that good of a cook, but in this video, I make my famous, it's not even my famous, it's an all, all um, recipe for meatloaf, but I've been making it for years. I'm gonna make that in this video and show you guys. My family absolutely loves it. It's one of their favorite things that I make. So I do not love cooking, but I do cook most days because our family needs to eat, but I do not enjoy cooking. But yeah, now I made my way to the bottom drawer and I am just gonna go through this. This is all of her PJs and get rid of anything. Um, we started buying Halloween PJs, as you can see. So we have about four pairs, and then we have our family ones um, to wear on Halloween night, which we are, are super excited to do. I have not got Christmas pajamas yet, but they'll be out soon. I will also link down below my um, Instagram link and on there I share like my mom tips for throughout the day. I also, you kind of can keep up with me and my family to see what we're doing. Um, there you get more up to date stuff so don't hesitate to follow me on Instagram as well. And now I'm showing you everything is done and it looks much better and I got rid of things that I needed to get rid of. So. I'm excited and she has room to grow and need to add all of the fall finds. All of this, I finished Brooklyn Room. I have the bright idea. Why don't I do underneath my sink? Like, it really is a hot mess. I really need to do it. Why don't I do my bathroom cover? And in the middle of it, I was regretting it, but I knew that this would give you guys some motivation, so I powered through. But this took me so long, and I'm not gonna lie, it took me forever, and I was like cursing myself while I was doing it. But I felt so good to be done. But I went through, I pulled out everything like Kamari style, Kamari style, how she pulls out everything, and I don't think I've done that in a really, really long time. I usually kind of go there and straighten, but I pulled out everything so I could see like, you have too many of this product or you have too many, too much of this. So I went through, I threw away a whole bag of stuff that was either expired or like we never used. And uh, it felt so good. And this is a week later and this area is still organized and I feel really proud, but 
I'm not gonna lie, in the middle of it, I was like, why did I start this? And my husband came upstairs and he was like, OMG, this is so much stuff. But like I said, I felt really good when I was done. So I hope this, I did this for you guys, gives you some motivation to get that area that you've been avoiding in your house clean and tidy. comments down below I love to hear this I want to know where you guys are from so I'm from Southern California um, where do you guys live are you are you California natives are you do you live on the East Coast I was born in New York City so if you are from the East Coast let me know I want to know if you are my East Coast peeps or are you from the West Coast or the middle of the United States, or maybe you don't even live in the United States and you live in another country, let me know that as well. Cause I love to just hear where you guys are from and where you're watching. And then um, while you're watching, are you cleaning along with me? Are you getting ready for work? Um, what are you doing? I also want to know that too. So let me know both of those questions down in the comment below. comments below. Where are you from and what are you doing while you're watching? just a bit and that is it and then now I made my way downstairs and we're gonna take a little break from cleaning and we are going to make my meatloaf recipe 
So I get this recipe from All Recipes. I will link it down below. It is super easy to make. Um, you can use ground beef. I use 80-20. Um, or you can use turkey if you'd like, but you would adjust the cooking time. So you use a pound and a half of ground beef. You want to use brown sugar. I use the dark brown sugar. You want to use two um, tablespoons of that. That little sweetness that it gives just takes it over the edge. A funny fact is I do not eat red meat. So I make a little turkey mini loaf for myself, um, but everybody else in the house does. And then the recipe calls for a cup of onions, but my family likes onions, but the kids don't love it, so I adjust it. I probably do one fourth of a cup. And then it needs the egg for binding, just one egg. And then it also will need um, breadcrumbs, and it needs a cup of breadcrumbs. And like I said, you don't have to remember any of this. I will have the recipe link down below. So yeah, you put that in and then you're going to have to get messy. I took off my ring earlier and you got to get your hands in there to mix everything all together. And I make mine in a loaf pan. I just spray it with a little bit of olive oil so it does not stick. Um, this is a non-stick pan, so I think it wouldn't stick anyways, but I just add extra insurance. Um, I spray it. This day we were making it with Brussels sprouts for the grown-ups and then uh, um, mashed potatoes for the kids. So, um, and like I said, I made a little mini turkey loaf for myself. Um, and then of course you need ketchup. So I needed to take a break and I was getting, um, my daughter a snack and we were also making, this was one of our family movie nights. So we were making the old school Jiffy Pop. If you guys remember that from when you were a child, um, mention that down in the comments below but i hadn't made that in years and actually i made my husband do it because i was terrified that i would burn down the house it's one of those ones that go on the oven and i want to know not i said oven i meant stove you guys know what i mean but i want to know down in the comments below how many nights a week do you guys cook dinner at home um, before we were doing eating out maybe two nights a week. So on a Friday and then me and my husband would do a date night in on the weekends and order something from like Uber Eats or something from like a restaurant and we would do that date night. But we've been actually cooking seven days a week at home and it's actually been really fun. We've been trying some really fun recipes and just some fun things, um, with our kids, um, for this month. So we decided to cook all of our meals at home and just experiment with new recipes and new meals. Even though this is a tried and true comfort food for my family, um, this one isn't a new recipe, but this is just one of their favorite. So I am back upstairs and while I'm making my daughter's bed, my son is going to make his bed, um, but I am getting their clean sheets put back on and um, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it gave you some inspiration and motivation to start your fall to-do list. Um, like I said, I do kind of major cleaning and organizing, but I do it in sections when the seasons change. I think that's just a perfect time to get in there and deep clean your home. So I hope this gave you some inspiration and motivation to start your deep cleaning. And um, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And I hope you will join my little YouTube family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.